Right now, guys, if you saw blood or something fluid coming out of the mouth, turn them to the right, to the uh, to the side. Whether side, left or right, that's not just turn them to the side. Once you see them having seizure, that's the only time that you're going to move them to the side. We side, it doesn't matter. Just move them to the side. In in case only fluid or blood are coming out of the mouth. Are we clear? Mm -hmm. Clear, guys. Okay, now, madam, you said the tongue might go to go inside, right? If in case these things happen. Yeah, they bite in tongue as well. So that's why I know I understand why the people who send it to the shoes or spoon because the when is bleeding this kind of spot, uh, bites in tongue, it's so strong, so the size from bleeding to the blood outside. Or if you put your head like that, the tongue will go inside. That's what I know. So how can, how can you bring it back if in case these things happen? Now? How can you bring back the tongue in the proper position? Okay, so you know you have to put on the side. And later, when you finish the spot, you have to turn the head like this. Just only do the letter A. So this was on my experience. Just only do the letter A. Mm. For the part to return, to return, to return back the position of the tama, just do the letter A only. What is letter A? Oh, yeah, open yeah. the other way. Same. Do the process because the stuff is part of the muscle. Yes, right, guys. Mm. So once you do the process, guys. You are now bending the muscles to return back to the proper position. Yes or no? Because it's been swallowed there. Eh? Yes or no? Okay. So you will go to the letter A, open the mouth and check inside the mouth if it's come back now. If it's not, repeat the cycle again. Repeat the cycle until the tongue goes back to the proper position. For the first A, proper first A, for the returning back to the swallowing of the tongue, letter A only. Here? And then also guys, after the seizure finish, Put your victim in the cover position and let the uh, police don't leave me alone. Huh? Okay. Because after every two minutes, remember the recovery position, right? Check for what? Breathing. Okay. And last thing that we're going to do, guys, to the seizure, if they wake up after the seizure, guys, please comfort and support them. Because some, correct me if I'm wrong, some of the seizures together with E mm. and food, which is they don't know this. So what did I say? What did I say? Kind support and comfort your victim if they wake up. Clear? Yeah. Why? What do you think I'm going to feel? If I wake up, I've noticed that my pants are wet and too many people are looking at me. What do you think I'm going to feel about them? Shame. Happy? Sad. So as a person here, what are we going to do? Laugh at me also? Comfort and support me. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Okay, on my experience, if I saw someone in epilepsy, guys, I'm sorry, looking. When finished, I will put them in the cover position. If they wake up, it seems like nothing happened. They will go to go walk around. It seems like nothing happened with them. For me, for my experience. Okay? That's why it's very important for us at least to get the proper basic knowledge. Okay? So in someone, some of the person, uh, some of the person who have epilepsy, guys, might have, uh, might have, not all, but maybe some of the person who have epilepsy might go into carry an ID with them. Indicating that they have epilepsy. They have epilepsy. Understand, guys? Okay, so at least it's easy for us to identify ah, this person of epilepsy. So I will go to do this part. Anyway, also, if you will go to the request for ambulance, reporting for someone of epilepsy, this is the instruction also that they will go to tell it to you. How long? How many minutes? Ah, just now. He collapsed and then get shaken. Automatic. Make the LSA. They will do. They will go to instruct you. The same procedure that I'm going to tell to you right now. Understand, guys? 